Come in. Uh, hi, um, I'm Julie. You must be Bradford. We have a 10 o'clock appointment. It's Dr. Dyke. Sit down. Um, okay. Uh, well, it, it was hard to find this room. Um, somebody gave me the room number, but um, these hallways are, are crazy. Yeah, sure is a weird building. Yeah. Um, uh, nice plant you've got there. I said that's a nice plant you have there. Oh, it's fake. It came with the office. So what are you working on? Well, I'm working on a study um, involving drunk people, um, particularly college students. We have this theory that when uh, drunk people stumble, they tend to fall in the direction of their dominant side. And what's your objective? To see how drunk people fall when they walk. Um, we, we believe they fall on the side of their dominant hand. And then what's your population of interest? Uh, drunk people? Um, some people think that when a drunk person falls, that they fall on the side of their dominant hand it's in a random manner. And well, some of course it's random. They're drunk. They don't know what they're doing. Now, you said that you're primarily focused on college students? Yes. And what our group wants to know is how we should design the study. Are you able to get a random probability sample? We want to make sure that members of your target population have the same likelihood of being selected to avoid statistical bias. Uh, so who are you recruiting for this study? Uh, we're recruiting volunteers from a Psych 300 level course. And what's your inclusion exclusion criteria? Uh, well, if you mean like who I, we want to include in the study, um, we are looking for people over the age of 21. And what are you measuring in this experiment? We're going to somehow assess their drift, their stumble, um, and what their dominant hand is and how drunk they are. Cool. Okay, so now that we have some idea of what your study is about, let's figure out how you're going to collect the actual data. Um, well, we plan on recording the subject's dominant hand. Um, we're also going to record the BAC with a breathalyzer, and then we're going to make them walk um, a 10-foot line, and we will record their initial step and their final step. So how are you going to record this? Um, one of our research assistants will record it on some uh, a clipboard with this paper. Going old school, I see, with paper and pencil. Well, you know, I found it's quicker to record for this um, numbers with this kind of experiment, you know, and besides um, alcohol and laptops don't really work. <laughs> Neither does alcohol and paper. So I guess I'm not really clear on what services you provide and I'm also on a budget and I'm kind of concerned with the cost. We've got a few different tiers of analysis available and so cost will depend on which one you choose. Our center has statisticians with various levels of expertise and background. Um, my first question is really, do you want us to enter in the data so it's ready for analysis? Um, I don't know. What do you recommend? I would imagine that this isn't too difficult of an analysis, so I could get one of my interns to work on it for you. Um, I'm pretty busy, so it wouldn't be worth my time. Well, I I'm not really sure about how I feel about someone with not a lot of experience um, doing this. I mean, I wouldn't want the analysis to get messed up. Our employees are all very capable. I'm just suggesting an intern as it appears you have worries about budget. If you must have me work on your project, I will, but it's going to cost you extra. Um, I'll, all right. Um, I'll go with the intern. Um, so. After I finish the experiment, how long do you think the analysis is going to take? I mean, we want to get this published really soon. Do you think this is publishable? All right. I think we can wrap this meeting up by figuring out what we need to do next. Once you have your experiment done, you can bring me the data and we can get that entered in for you. Okay. Well, are you going to give me an estimate of what this is uh, all going to cost? Our time's up. Email me when you have any questions. Uh, Make sure you turn off the lights. <laughs>